Okay, so this is for a viewer who asked um, if how he could handle graphs on the Remarkable. So I've uploaded the picture of a graph here on the Remarkable and the only thing you've got is tracing. Uh, you can upload a page like I did. This is a PDF now. Um, it was an image to start with, a PNG image, but now it's a PDF and I'll just write that down so that you can, so it is, it was a PNG file. Um, but then when I uploaded it through my.remarkable.com, it became a PDF file, which is what it is now. The only way you can use this, uh, well, it, I mean, it's here for you to use. Uh, there's only one page in this document, and it's this. And it's on, it's on the Remarkable. So if I come out, it's here on the Remarkable. But if you want to get this picture somewhere, then you have to trace it. So I would use a fine liner and I would draw it. I'm guessing you probably don't want to do this, but um, you asked to, you know, what can I do with, with graphs? Tracing is the option when you want to, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that you'd want to do this, but I thought I would just show you anyway. And obviously, if you were doing this, you would be a lot more careful than I. I'm going to highlight all of that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to create a new page and paste it and then I have the graph I'm going to clear the clipboard because I always manage to paste it somewhere else and I could have done it all properly and then with the numbers down there that is one way of getting a graph into your document um, by tracing it I hope that was helpful <laughs> um, that's just where the current software is at all right thanks so much bye